There, boys. I'm so zoomed in. Setting the mood for them. Yeah, we're not gonna like. I'm literally just going up to my my tits. Okay. Yeah, then, are you guys gonna yeah. stay in there, or are you gonna come out and then talk? I, I think, think we'll, we're gonna try to stay in. There. We'll try to do the whole. Oh well, yeah, you guys gotta stay in as. Yeah, long we're gonna yeah. stay in there as long as we can yeah. and answer all the questions and. That's this guy called me a pussy. I I told him this morning. I was like, he was like, man, I don't know if we'll stay in there the whole time. I was like, I'm gonna stay in there the whole time. I'm like, he's like, he's okay. like, okay, okay. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna beat you in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's do it then. My feet are fucking cold on the sand. That's why I'm not putting my feet on the sand. <laughs> Wendy has a small head. Yeah, Logan, Logan's got a tiny head, bro. Huh? No, she's like, I'm gonna work out instead. I'm like, you pussy. I would have like, decided to work out instead too. I was like, can you go for me? <laughs> Greggies. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, I guess it technically was. It was a mix. Yeah. All right. Not right here? No, it looks stupid. Go off to like the. Like here. All right. All right. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're shooting a rest day, a QA rest day. And as you can see, uh, we decided to take advantage of this beautiful city that we live in, Vancouver, and we're going to do a little bit of a cold plunge. So it's currently 9.30 in the morning, uh, what, like three degrees right now, and we're gonna jump into the water and answer all of your questions. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're yeah. gonna try. Yeah. Gonna try. But we thought, what, uh, what better way to do it than to enjoy the ocean and the mountains and freeze our asses off and... Our, your... our original thought was to actually do an ice bath, right, which is like great, because I can like, when you get out, it's still warm. But we thought... But Greg thought. <laughs> this is Greg's idea. But we thought, let's hate ourselves even more and go outside into the middle of the winter and jump in the ocean, so... Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> let's go. Alright, let's, right. let's get in there. Is this a bad idea? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm so cold already. <laughs> Alright, bro, we are not... I am lasting longer than you. You're gonna last longer than me? I'm gonna last longer. Uh, than yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna last, okay, pal. I'm gonna last longer than you. Question that I got. Oh, these are all anonymous, by the way. So these are anonymous questions. What, <laughs> what makes someone a coachable client. Okay. Uh, you go. <laughs> so what makes so a coachable client of um, number one, they are coachable. Does that make sense? Someone who's a coach. <laughs> okay, you take a minute. You take a minute. Okay. Someone that may what makes someone a coachable client is that um, they're willing to um, get out of their own um, comfort zone. Their own comfort zone and get out of their own ways. A lot of people um, aren't uh, are pretty resistant to change, um, but what makes someone very coachable is that they're willing to adapt to different ideas, adapt different principles, like me, and, and try and try new things, like doing a cold plunge. I, like yeah, comfort zone. All right, next question. We could probably How elaborate on that, to be honest. I, I'm not. I'm not too bad. I'm like my um, feet sting, like yeah. they hurt. I can't feel, it's my legs, my joints. <sighs> okay. um, but what I was gonna say is talking about that culture, coachable aspect is also somebody who asks a lot of questions, right? So somebody who isn't afraid to ask questions, you should have a really good relationship with your coach and not be afraid to ask questions. Now, there are also honestly good questions and bad questions, okay? So you, you have to, understand the coaching dynamic right and understand if it is about coaching if it's about your program if it's about food your training yes but we can't start off with like personal questions i have a lot of clients and i'm really personable they ask a lot of personal questions yep right and i don't feel like that is a coachable aspect like you're not that's not being a good client mm -hmm. when they when they try to dig too deep about um your personal life and don't keep it a coach client relationship 
That's fair. Okay, one of your questions. Okay. Okay, so first one here. Rate, uh, I can't even speak. Rate each other's physiques. Okay, like uh, actual, think, actual critique? I think critique. We'll okay. say critique each other's physiques. Okay. Um, I would say my critiques for you are, honestly, I would like I would have never come to this conclusion, but like the way that your coach brought it up is that your back is lacking, yep. but your arms are fucking massive. Yeah. Right, so I'd say at a, at a 10 and like on a competitive level, I'd say you're about an eight, right? Yeah. I think it's just like your back that needs to improve. Yeah. But other than that, I think everything is pretty all around solid. Thanks, man. No problem. <laughs> He's a nice guy. I would have given myself a six because that's just me being hypercritical of myself. Now, Greg, he's the total opposite of, of me. I put my arms in. Yeah, I don't want to put my arms in. But now my shoulders hurt. <laughs> okay, so with Greg, he's the exact opposite of me. me. Okay, so for him, it's, it's mainly his back that is the best aspect of him. His back, his legs, great. Um, glutes, obviously, come on. Um, but what areas that he needs to work on is definitely his chest and shoulders. Mm -hmm. Chest, shoulders, arms. As soon as he gets that, complete physique, okay? And because I'm giving myself a six, or I would have, I'm giving you a six as well. Okay, fair enough. I'll take that. I can take that. Because okay. I feel like eight, there's not much more room to grow, but I feel like we can grow a lot more. There's not much room to grow, but to get to like nine would take a lot. To yeah, get true. to 10 would take a lot, you know what that I mean? That is true. Okay, next question. Thoughts on the 75 hard challenge? Ooh. My personal thoughts, I think it's a cool challenge and it's something cool to um, pursue, but I don't know if it's the right message for a lot of people. Yes. The whole go hard, you know, Get outside. beast mode, like no days off, that sort of thing. Yeah. I don't think that's um, the best mindset to have, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to like trying to figure out like your own fitness journey and try to, trying to make something sustainable. Like that stuff isn't sustainable. I think the 75 hard challenge is very similar to a competition prep in the sense that it's it's not healthy. It's not something long-term that you should be pursuing. Yep. Although it is great, hi pup. Hey. Although it is great to pursue something like that and push yourself, I don't think it's, very yeah. sustainable and it's not a very long-term message. But what's actually crazy that I've noticed about the 75 hard, Yeah, it's a lot of people who stopped prepping yep. that needed something else to challenge them. Yeah. Um, and they decided to do the 75 hard, yeah. right? And that's, that's... But it's also the same people who, tell, who publicly say that prep is too extreme. Yeah. But in they're my both, eyes, they're, both, they're extreme. both extreme. They're both very extreme. They're both very, very extreme. So for me, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the 75 hard. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people feel like I am personally, um, I'm pretty extreme in one sense, mm -hmm. right? But honestly, I feel like I'm just living a balanced lifestyle, <sighs> right? I'm not going outside to run or whatever. Cause like the requirements is you have to be outside rain or shine. Yeah, I like think one, that's one, work, one workout inside, one workout outside. Daily, right? Yep. Yeah, for so 75 days. That is not fun. So, personal opinion, 75 hard, I don't like it. It's not something I would ever choose to do. Yeah. If you want to remain consistent, make a decision and just do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, next question. How are you doing, by the way? Um, I go in waves. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm really surprised that we're still in here. Yeah, yeah. So, I told you it would be. I told you it'd yeah. be okay once we get over the first like couple minutes. My arms are very cold now, though. My no, elbows. My, my elbows. elbows. Yeah, my elbows are in now and they're cold. Okay. Go okay. Ahead. Next question. Oh no, they feel oh, yeah. red. <laughs> it feels red. Okay. Anyways, keep going. Yeah. Wait, how long have we been in here? Six minutes. Ooh, not bad. <sighs> okay. okay. Next question. Um, in person or online training, what is better? Um, what is better? I think as a coach, online is better. Okay. In the sense that you have a little bit more time, a little bit more flexibility. Yep. Um, in person is better for the client, I think. Yep. Just because you're obviously in person with them and you're, you're in them in, with, in real life, in yep. real time. Um, I think in-person training will always have that advantage over online the the, the personal aspect yeah the in-person and interaction and just the human interaction 
I think that will always have benefit over um, the online online space. Although, as you know, if you're speaking from a business or from a coach or trainer, online is a little bit more flexible for yourself. It's a lot more flexible, I should say. I would I would 100% agree with Greg here. Um, when you're training someone in person, the amount of knowledge and feedback, instant feedback you can give someone yep. is, you can't compare it to online. So like me and Greg, we we're talking about teaching somebody how to, how to hinge properly. Teaching someone how to hinge properly Impossible. online, <laughs> it's so video hard. after <laughs> video, bend from your hips, like don't, lock, don't bend your knees too much, like all this feedback. Yeah. Some people don't get it unless you literally move them into position. Yep. Right, so in that sense, I like in person, but like Greg says, as a coach online, I used to be very against online training. Now it is my main source of income. Um, it allows me to coach more people. Um, but allow, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I almost okay. fell. <laughs> oh, this is scary. <laughs> I would have tried to reach for the mic. The mic? Yeah, not me. Um, but yeah, online is great. I like them both. I'll always continue to do both. Um, unless I move to another country and just do online. Wink. <laughs> okay. Is weight training or HIT slash functional training better for fat loss or building muscle? Okay. When it comes to fat loss, that is going to be 95% nutritional, okay? Like if you want to lose body fat, look at your nutrition, look at the food that you're consuming and how much. If you want to build muscle, if you want to sculpt your body, if you want to look a specific way, that's going to, deter that's going to be determined by the way that you're training, the style of training. Yeah, um, yeah that's pretty much it, and, and, you know, and put, to put it short. But Coach Greg, what about toning your body? Toning, <laughs> to toning is was what people mean when they want to be lean. Okay, toning is a is a marketing term used for, you know, if like how do you just like when you, when someone says they want to look toned, everyone knows what it means, but the real meaning behind being toned is just being lean enough so that you can see muscle. Right? I like that. Yeah, and just building lean body mass, right? Yeah. No one's actually toned until you get to a certain body fat, and then people recognize, hey, he or she is really toned. Yeah. Right. But it's all about losing body fat, like Greg said. I know exactly what people mean when they say toned, toned. and I want to be toned. I know exactly what they mean. Probably like a 10 to 12 percent body fat on men, about 16 on women. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. My next question. Nathaniel, that's not really for Nathaniel, but what's Nathaniel like to work with? <laughs> you can, oh wow, you cut out on the most important question. <laughs> can you hear me now? He can't hear, he doesn't have his headphones. Oh, you don't have your headphones. Say whatever you want. Did you hear the question though? <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> um, Nathaniel has been great. Um, he hasn't been on time once yet, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's really only like three, four. Yeah, but he always drives out to where we need him to drive out. So we really appreciate that. Sometimes we meet halfway, uh, but he is good to work with. I don't know why I'm really cold right now. <laughs> Are you? Out of it's nowhere. Elbows, elbows. Elbows, elbows. Yeah, elbows. <laughs> okay, that's better. Um, but no, he, he makes our shoots seem like we know what we're doing yeah I'm like, like yeah he it, just tells us to just do it and we're like okay yeah it, no it's been great working with nathaniel but before we started working together i've met him i'd met him once or twice maybe yeah but just from like the first time meeting and the first impression you know that they're you know a, a good genuine person so it's been it's been great to to work together and like brandon was saying like he makes all of the content look amazing and look all great like when yep. we're filming, it doesn't feel like anything. Like we're no. just kind of doing our thing, whatever. But then you watch the video and you're like, oh, this actually looks really cool. Like I enjoy doing this. So yep. um, yeah, he's been able to make the content like um, bring, he's been able to bring it to life pretty much. I agree. Um, we could dive into more about Nathaniel. I feel like when he's shooting, he gets into this mode. He has, his, he has his hoodie on. Hood on. He's yeah. finding his angles. He knows exactly what he needs to do. Um, and he just does it, you yeah. know, it's like he's in his incognito mode. Yeah. Um, another question for you. Yep. Did you meet these two for the first time at the club? 
No, the first time I met them okay. was at um, when they did Logan shoot. Oh, yeah. that's right. They that's shot right. for Logan after her show. Yeah. Yeah. And then the second time was party in Vegas. Was Vegas. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, go. Uh, not too bad. My my, my elbows, elbows. I don't know why the elbows hurt so bad. Yeah. Okay. Last year in one of your YouTube videos, you said you weren't natty. How can you compete natty now? That's fair. Go. Do yeah, you so, answer that? Yeah. So last year after or. Yeah, a year and a half ago, after my show, I did a show in 2021. And after that show, I did three months of a SARM. So technically not natty, right? Yeah. Um, so, I ha so I was not natty for those three months. So technically you could argue that I'm not natural, but since being off of that stuff, I have been natural. Like I haven't taken anything since. Um, and I guess this is kind of a gray area, right? Cause I'm competing in a natural show. Yeah. Um, but I guess, you know, will I have to be drug tested? How is it gonna work? I well, guess it's, it's kind of a gray area, right? Well, this was also what, three years ago? A uh, year and a half ago. So SARMS is, is still gray. Like, if they detect it in your system, you're not natty. Yeah, right? I think it's because of the, because of the product that I took, it's, it's a gray area. Right. Yeah. It wasn't like outright uh, performance enhancement drug. No. It wasn't outright like a pharmaceutical performance enhancing drug. It wasn't right? a steroid. I, I bought the damn thing online. Right. So it was like a it's not considered a steroid. Yeah. Right. So um, I think it's just kind of a gray area right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also <laughs> I think you have to use things correctly. I don't think Greg use the protocol correctly or anything like I that. I just took one one pill a day for 90 days. <laughs> exactly. Um, <clears throat> I feel like nowadays, if you're on SARMs, you're not natty, okay? Yeah. Um, especially if you're going into a natural show and taking something going into a natural show, you're not natural, okay? We'll say Greg made a, um, made a decision three years ago to try it but did he eat right, sleep right, use it properly? Probably not, right? Um, and is he using something going into this show? Not at all. No. Right? Um, so no, wow, my legs are cold. I, it's hard to move. Like yeah. it's hard to move your legs right now. Uh, well, can we get frostbite? <laughs> okay, let's get to 20. Okay. Let, let's get to 20. Okay, hold on. <laughs> my my quads are so tight. Yeah, I'm numb. I don't really feel it. I'm numb. I thought two minutes to start, and now we're at 15. We're pretty good. Okay, so next question. Would you choose each other or your girlfriends? When it comes down to what, though? <laughs> I'm gonna say my girlfriend. Yeah, I'll have to say my girlfriend too. <laughs> but, but we, but, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> what would you suggest to someone who wants to get into the online training world? Okay, so, do you want to go to work with us? You know, it, I'll answer it too, but go for it. It's uh, you know, if it's the same advice you'd give to anyone, it, I'm sure you've heard it before, is just start. You know, the biggest, the only reason why people don't ever get around to doing things that they don't want to do or the, they never get around to doing the things they want to do is because they just never started, right? They're the, you're the only person that's going to hold yourself back from doing anything, right? Just, just start, you know, coach people for free, show people that you know what you're talking about, show people that you're able to help them and create impact. Yeah. Well, and, in a little bit. and it'll, you know, it'll, it'll help itself, right? The way that I got into it was that. I just started. Yes. You just you just have to start. You know, opportunities will come as they come and I think that like the world has a way of like presenting opportunities to you when when you're ready for them, right? You wouldn't get these opportunities if you weren't ready for them. So just start and just put yourself out there. I'm going to half agree with you just have to start and you have to showcase your knowledge. But I also have a bone to pick with like the online world because 
every single day there is a new online coach, right? But do they have the education? Do we have a governing body to look over who these coaches are and what these coaches are saying? We don't, right? I think, uh, who's that? James Smith? Yep. PT? Yep. Uh, British guy? Yeah, Australian. Australian. Yeah. So James Smith put out a video, and he's an online coach now, but he spent, I think, 10 years of, the first 10 years of his PT career as an in-person personal trainer, right? You have to have that in-person experience to really become a really good trainer, to be honest. Yeah. I think you have to understand you have to, if you can't talk to someone in person and guide them, what makes you think you can help someone online when they have a question with form, when they have a question about anything, mm -hmm. right? You have to put in the time before you can just move online, right? And a lot of people I feel I find are trying to use online as a way to make money. Yeah which it is, right? You can reach a lot more people, but it's also devaluing what PT, online, in-person coaching really is about, mm -hmm. right? So, agree, but I do think that people need to be more educated and continue to learn before they move online. Yep, that's fair. Are we at 20 minutes? You want to do one more in here? Sure. Okay. Do you have one? Yeah, I got one. Okay. I don't have any more good ones. <laughs> what are your sexual no-goes? The no-fly zone. Don't don't lick my toes. Don't lick your toes? Don't lick my toes. <laughs> don't, don't, don't lick my toes. Actually, I haven't... I actually don't know. I actually don't know. Don't put anything up my butt. Like, don't touch my butt. No, you wouldn't. What? I've never, I've never had it, but I've heard good things. That's where, that's where the male G spot is. It's in your ass. I know. I won't go too much into detail about what I like, <laughs> but I don't want but anything any up no my ass. Do you have <laughs> Nothing up my butt. So that's a no fly zone. No, that's a no fly zone. Okay, fair enough. No matter what everybody thinks, we're we're not actually gay for each other. We love each other. <laughs> We're, we're like borderline, but like nothing up the butt. I'd rather sit in here for 30 minutes. I know. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh. Yo, it hurts. Yeah, it, it, hurts. Just, it just stings. Ah. 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 Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Oh, red. I'm burned. <laughs> yeah. We're oh. burnt. <laughs> I don't blame you, bro. <laughs> that was that was mind over matter. That was, yeah. You guys crushed it. That's all that was. Yeah, you had doubts. I, had, I, I was I like, man, we can do this. <laughs> As I was walking in, I was like, do I walk out right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. So, uh, there must be a reason why you lasted a bit longer. There is a reason why, actually. Uh, the reason why I lasted longer is because I took some creatine this morning and a little bit of a pre-workout. Um, funny enough, it's from Get Raw Nutrition, code Greg, 10% off. Oh, wait, you heard it here first. Oh yeah, I need to change your filter. My feet. Feeling better now? Yeah. I just need to... Put my wipe my feet on my thing. So would you guys do it again? <laughs> no. Yeah, you can see yourself. 
maybe like for five minutes. Yeah, like I feel like my feet just hurt now. Yeah, it's just my feet. <laughs> I wonder how long it's gonna take for your bodies to thaw. <laughs> I know. Probably the same amount of time we were in. 20 minutes? At least. That's pretty good though. I feel like you're gonna be cold all day. I'm already cold because of breath. <laughs> Great idea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nathaniel was worried about us. <laughs> he was like, guys, just come out. Yeah. <laughs> guys, just come out. Um, do you have your clients work out the same way you do with 10 working sets and five exercises or more? Or the traditional four by 12, yada, yada, yada. Why or why not? Uh, I, I think for me, it depends on the client. Yeah. I think for someone like us who trains with like the bodybuilding type training, sure they can follow the the principle that we that we had um, <laughs> use. But, <laughs> but for um, you know some of some of the clients who are just working out and exercising to be healthy and build muscle and just be you know lose body fat, the traditional um, oh. average person. I schedule a three by 10, three by 12, three by 15, three by 20, four by five. You know, there's a whole different, there's so many different ways to train. Um, and it just depends on the client, the client's experience, the client's training level, um, yeah. and just kind of where they're at in their fitness journey. What he said. <laughs> okay, where were we? Yeah, you don't really need to elaborate too much on that one because, like, at the end of the day, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> it really depends on experience, right? Yeah. Like, are you gonna push yourself if you're a beginner at? three sets of 10, you know what I mean? Yeah. If we wrote a program and we said two sets of 15, they won't utilize the two sets of 15 and understand how much weight to use and all of that. So that's why a lot of people start with three sets of 10, keep it simple. Mm -hmm. um, if, you're, if you're brand new, I am colder now than in the water. I know, I, I'm colder now too, I don't know. <laughs> Um, next question. Okay. Are either of you truly natural? <laughs> or have you used drug enhancements to get you where you are at? Brother or sister, whoever you asked, I've never said I was natural. <laughs> I'm not natural, thank you very much. I guess I'm technically not natural, but natural at the same time. I don't know, this goes back to the question that we just answered in the in the water there, but it's kind of, I guess it's kind of a gray area. All right, so. That's it. That is Th Those it. are the little ones that, oh wait. <laughs> Will you leave your girlfriend for me? Unless your name is Chris Bumstead, no. Damn, because I asked that question. Oh, you asked that question? <laughs> yeah, I did. <sighs> Unless your name is Chris Bumstead or Brandon Chan. Oh hey guys, don't forget use code BCHAN <laughs> for your for your get raw revive uh, supplements that you need. Right? If you need any supplements, don't know what to get, feel free to DM me and I'll make sure you get to use my code BCHAN. That's my best part of the video. <laughs> yeah, you didn't stutter once there, you didn't nope. shiver at all. Okay, right. I'm getting better. Okay. Like, yeah, you are. Slowly feeling better. No, not, not about like the camera, like with my body. Like, oh, oh. Feeling better. <laughs> but thanks. Yeah, I thought it was like, yeah, you are getting better with the camera. Yeah. Um, that was probably one of the hardest things I've done in a really long time. I've never done something like that. Same. I thought that was a really interesting experience. We're still experiencing it. We're still experiencing <laughs> it technically. Um, but yeah. <laughs> you want us to close? <laughs> we, we, honestly, I feel like our bodies are in shock. Like, we, I always have an idea, and then it just drifts away. Yeah. 
because I don't even know why. Like, it's just gone. <laughs> but what Greg wants to say is, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Um, play in the background of your of your uh, gym. Play in the background of your workplace. So they're like, hey, who are these two crazy dudes? Huh. Jumping in the water. Can you believe it's February? I was about to say January. I know, but it's, it's already. February. I know, I know. Wild. I know. Time's flying. <sighs> All right. Well, we're done.